So in this episode, let's take a look at the Triton T1 Monowing. This word alone sends fear and trepidation through the hearts and minds of average kite foilers like myself. So instead of having someone like Daniel, who has lived on monofoils, demonstrate his 40 foot boost, winging the T1 or tandem riding on this setup, well, let's take a look at my first day on the Triton T1 wing and let's discover what it looks like for an average kite foiler on day one of this setup as I go out in two 20 minute sessions in these chocolatey flooded waters of Lake Eufaula, Oklahoma in late May. There's been a lot of talk about this Triton T1 stealth looking hydrofoil. It's an exciting and new look in the industry, but then there's that thing that's missing, the rear stabilizer. And well, if it doesn't have a stabilizer, then it's a monofoil, right? And if it's a monofoil, well, then it's going to be a journey to learn how to ride. And the question is, is it really worth the commitment to learn something so difficult? After all, I just got on this other side of the wing ding venture. So this actually is all going through my head before trying this T1 wing. What it actually looked like on the water on day one in just a minute. Briefly, let's just look at the construction quality and components of the T1 foil set. The T1 set is able to mount to any standard 90 millimeter track system. It comes with an 85 or 75 centimeter aluminum mast option which is very light in construction. And the four layered carbon mono wing comes with a stainless steel washer to protect the mass wing junction, has an aluminum base plate and all necessary hardware and quality sleeves for the mast and wing. All this in addition to a shim set. You can also order the mono wing to retrofit your current hydrofoil mass set, but my personal recommendation would be the package set. The entire production, it's a home run. It has a great look, feel, and quality. So I guess I'll be able to look at this really great looking foil over the next few weeks as I practice thousands of water starts and experience countless breaches and crashes in trying to conquer the unattainable monofoil magic carpet ride. Yes, this is actually how my head works. So I go out in my first 20 minute session this is my first time under a kite in probably about four months or so. I don't know, maybe even longer than that. I go with my trusted Peak 5, 5 meter and 6 meter with these gusty winds of 10 to 25 miles per hour. On the water start, I'm just waiting for that first rodeo ride as I send my kite and I come up on foil. No bucking, no breaching, no explosion. The T1, it feels a little more loose, but not squirrely. I don't recognize any drag. Wait a minute, this is enjoyable? No, wait a minute, I'm riding a monofoil. I'm a monofoiler. Already I feel like I need to have a t-shirt or something. Fully enveloped in my first tack out, I get lost in the simplicity. But I need to get back. I need to jibe now, and here's where the explosion occurs, right? On the foot switch jibe. So I know from enough kite forum discussions that monofoils have no pitch stability. So I go for the foot switch, and the bottom of the board, it doesn't fall out from under me. It actually has pretty good pitch stability. Not conventional free ride foil pitch stability, but pretty good. The occasional miss, but probably around an 80% success rate in my first session. The T1, it's already exceeded my expectations. This monofoil, it's more than manageable. It's enjoyable. And this is in my first five minutes on the T1. The T1 has great speed, and for me that's anything over 20 miles per hour, as I really don't just rip it up out there. It's easy on the water start, has great acceleration, has a carvy feel under your feet, an attribute that I want to explore more with progression. And I didn't tack the wing just because I'm not proficient enough tacking under the peak kites due to their deep position in the wind window but I can see where it would be a tacking machine with a more traditional overhead or forward flying kite. The T1 is more difficult to ride than a typical free ride hydrofoil, but I would say subjectively, maybe 20% more difficult. 
and the added benefits of low drag and increased playfulness far outweigh the added skill that's required. You'll feel a little more going on in your ankles and feet in making micro adjustments, but it's nothing crazy. Another thing that I like about this foil, it doesn't have sharp edges, so it's safer under and above the water, which means foil face would be less pronounced. Also, it packs well for travel. The negative of this wing, well, it's very floaty, so maybe it can be harder to get on top with a more minimalistic pocket board, but I didn't have any issues with my Axis 94 tray board. Fully tuning the wing may take you a couple of sessions for proper weight distribution and for the adjustment of nose pitch with your pocket board, but that's really just moving the foil within the track system and implementing the shims if necessary. It's not back foot heavy, it's balanced riding. Now, the Triton team recommends not boosting big on the T1 due to its larger surface area, but that's really not a limiting factor for me. I just can't overstate how pleased I was with this wing. I know this isn't my typical type of review and it does sound more like a commercial due to all these positives, but I thought it was important to show the immediate gratification that I experienced from what I thought was an unattainable or at the very least involved an extensive commitment to achieving monofoil success. So the verdict for me is that I am going to buy this hydrofoil. This is the setup that I'm going to use free ride foiling for the foreseeable future. I'm going to invade it into my wing dinging schedule and bring the kite back into my lineup. And I'm looking forward to where this Triton wing can take me. And if you have interest in more information or ordering this mono wing, well then reach out to Green Hat Kiteboarding for all your board sports needs. Subscribe and comments, they're always appreciated. Until next time. Thank you.